welcome to MS4. Um, today is day two of the gratitude get ready with me. Uh, it is bright and sunny today. Um, so let's be all happy and excited about that. Um, it was 52 degrees this morning for my walk with the puppy. Um, so, you know, but anyway, it's kind of nice to be bright and shiny. Uh, it kind of messes with my light. Even though I have lights over here, it's a lot more light over there because that's my window coming in. Um, but anyway, we're going to get rid of it with me. Um, it's going to be, I think, a fairly fast video today. Um, I do like talking, but um, I have things to do. <laughs> I'm trying to keep to a schedule um, as I have lots to do, and I have a dentist appointment today, um, which Let's also be thankful for that. Although I do not love dentist appointments, I do like my dentist. Um, and I'm excited. I had a, a filling and they need to grind it down a little bit. Um, so I'm excited about that. Because um, my jaws felt a little off. So anyway, uh, Lawless Powder with my pan. Uh, so anyway, good things are afoot. I believe. Um, I'm doing some different stuff. Um, I wanted to do, since I'm feeling fallish, um, this is the the Fenty uh, and these were all in the peach category. Um, the lightest one was more like a highlighter so I did get the, this is the baked peach um, so I'm kind of going to steer away from doing a lot of, um, contouring or anything like that. I just want the light and then the peach to read. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, lots of stuff on, but we're just, we're just going to see. Um, I really enjoyed the new Fenty powder formulations, the, the new blushes. Um, these kind of face and cheek colors. Um, this one has enough that it reads peach um, as a color rather than just a highlight. So I'm using a little more dense of a brush than I might normally um, just because I'm wanting that the color read as well not usually into sparkly blushes. Usually I like to have matte blushes and then the highlighters. But for some reason, these this formulation is just an exception for this. So, there you have it. Uh, besides being grateful for sunshine and dentists, um, I'm also excited for the invention of the juice box. Um, I think I told you yesterday our refrigerator is on the fritz. And um, I normally have uh, orange juice in the refrigerator for keeping my blood sugar where it needs to be if it needs a little uplifting. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're gonna start, start there. Um, and, uh, all of it went really fast, went fizzy. Um, so I'm gonna need to, to have something that's room temperature. And so juice boxes, um, which is nice. Okay, so I'm using a Sigma brush. And like I said, today's look is, is pretty easy. Uh, that easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, we're gonna go back into last year's Nomad palette, the Hudson Valley palette. And we're doing greens, um, as you can see, we're doing greens. Um, so I'm going to go into, I'm actually going to go into the deep brown and then the green and up that way. So it's like a little, um, we do have some fall leaves here in LA. Um, we do have some trees that I'm going to just use a little liner brush at first here. Um, so that's kind of fun. 
when Mabel and I are out walking in the morning, usually we're pretty quiet, but now there's some crunchy leaves to step in. And I'm saying, oh, it's 52, it's so cold. <laughs> but I know other parts of the country are dealing with actual weather. So I'm not rubbing it in, I'm just saying I'm enjoying our weather as opposed to other people's weather, but it is a little chilly in the morning. Uh, and then lining with that deeper chocolate color. Okay, I'm gonna keep the liner brush and now we're gonna go in with the the deeper green and all these are mattes. And I imagine that this one isn't going to read quite as as green. Anyway, I'm thankful for uh, crunchy leaves. And juice boxes that don't need refrigerating. When I saw this palette when it came out last year, they just, it, it just so fall um, in that very traditional sense of, of the word. Okay, so now we're gonna go in, I think I'm gonna do my crease color in this. So I need to swap out another brush. Crease color. I almost, since we've been talking about it yesterday about the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome, almost pulled that one out for our green color because um, there's this great color in there called Scarab which is a, a duochrome -ish sort of shade um, I do have Scarab I believe in a in the liquid formula as well so I thought initially that I might pull out that for today but then I started thinking we have Halloween coming up and maybe I would want to do a, a look with Scarab, a more intense sort of a look. Um, all right, so I don't know how green, I mean, it's kind of murky, murky. Packing brush, we're gonna go into this, the lightest matte green. To the center and then up into the up into the crease. At some point in time I should do my fastest makeup look for you. It's super fast. I think most people, if you've ever had to do your makeup and get to work fast, like I both have my because for a while there, I had to ride the train. I had to do uh, a bus and a train to get to work. And so I have uh, looks for that I can do while riding public transit. Um, and I also have uh, looks the that I can do not looking, like if it's dark. Um, cause I used to drive to work and then I'd park in the, the garage and then do my makeup. Um, okay, so now we're going to do with this, this super shiny for the, towards the inner. It's going to be 
lighter with this. So, uh, technically, those are the skills that nobody ever says, oh, you should pick up this skill. Do your makeup in the dark. Do your makeup on a train. Um, if you're at all interested in seeing the looks for that fastest makeup, train makeup, makeup in the dark, let me know. I don't think it's a unique skill set. I just think that most influers, influers, influencers don't necessarily let you in on that. Well, now see. Okay, so is it green enough? Do I feel it's green? What kind of matches my outfit? Do I want it? Let me see if I can pop in a little of that matte beige. I don't know what that'll do. Let's use the finger. Let's, because the brush. So I'm going to go back into the, the green. Ah, oh, yes, okay. So it's messier without the brush, but it's reading more of that, that green that I want. So, skills. There's a great poem, and I'll, uh, it's by Tony Hoagland, um, talking about like the skills that you know people may never you you the skills that you pick up that people may never know you have that may never make any difference, and yet there you are. Um, I'll try and remember to put that in the the description box. Uh, but it's a great poem by Tony Hoagland. All right, so I think that probably does it. Do I want maybe a little bit of the peachy matte to blend out? Maybe, maybe I do. Try and tie those cheeks together with my eyes. That sounds weird. <laughs> to have the color blend in a nice way. Um, let's see. skills you never knew that you were needed. I used to talk a lot when I was in junior high and I would get these little things from my teacher It said you made a bad decision and as soon as you had enough bad decisions then you got to, to spend time in detention uh, and he wouldn't let you do anything in detention um, and at the end of the year my locker was filled to the bottom of it had about this high of I made a bad decision just because I was talking all the time and of course I think I've told you guys this story before. It's the idea of karma. Um, the brief time when I was teaching junior high, um, I had a student that was just like me, and I got a chance to apologize to, to my English teacher. But one of the skills that I picked up, this is the point of the story, not to, to revisit, but um, I, I learned how to, to do circles with my fingers in opposite directions. And I can sit and do that for a half an hour straight. <laughs> so. Is it a skill? Is it something else? I don't know. But anyway, um, I feel like on the Breakfast Club where they were all um, telling their their secrets or their traits, and Molly Ringwald was putting on her lipstick with her lipstick uh, held between her breasts using no hands. Um, so there you go. There's your movie reference for today. Put 
putting on some Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So I want to just easy peasy them and squeezy. And so I got a, uh, the NYX Butter Glosses came out with uh, shimmering colors. Um, this is shimmering something or other. One moment. Shimmer down. Like simmer down, only shimmer. Uh, so we're gonna do that. These were really pretty. I was actually surprised at how um, they do have the shimmer, but they're very comfortable. You don't really feel like grit, gritty shimmer. And they're actually really pretty. How do I want to say this? They look nice. <laughs> Me using my big words used them all up in Wordle. Okay. All right, so you don't really feel the shimmer in that. The, the colors are actually really flattering. Um, so I like. All right, so that's it. Super, super short, super short. Uh, let me know what you want to see. We're just doing the getting into the gratitude for November. Um, and let me know what you're grateful for. Uh, again, may your eye be keen, may your hand be steady, and have a fantastic day if you can. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.